Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back again to our YouTube channel Zion Kenya TV. I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. Personally I'm great as you can see and we are still hoping for the best in these days. So ladies and gentlemen today we want to discuss about Ruto's dark future in the Republic of Kenya. What do I mean by saying Ruto's dark future? Because as I speak we all know that the current opposition is now no longer defending Kenyan's welfare. As we know that the current of opposition also is just a believer of institution or of an institution to make money but not to make power. So that is the beginning of Ruto's dark future in the Republic of Kenya. Before I do that, if this might be your first time as I on Kenya TV, I also request you just take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe. In that next time when I upload you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. Ladies and gentlemen, President William Samuel Ruto paid a visit to New York City. He said several words that I also some delivers to you at our platform. That is also another beginning of our political discussion. Let's get to what David indeed said. The sarcastic words he used when he was asked about the economy crisis. Do you really know the work David Lee is doing? He is the legal advisor of the president, economic advisor. This is the reason why we are saying Ruto's dark future in the country is looming to danger. Because if our whole economic advisor can say to the Republic of Kenya, such kind of words, then it means that no hopeless for Kenyans or no hope for hopeless Kenyans. Sorry. Do you recall how Ruto used to campaign? He was using words of enticement to influence Kenyans to hands votes. Now we are in the same same government which used to oppose Oru Kenyatta's government. The truth and the reality remains that Kenya Kwanza have been defeated to work for the Kenyans. Because we saw them just going abroad. As I said, they are enjoying the cool breeze from oceans, be it Pacific, Atlantic, but they are enjoying that cool breeze. As Kenyans are neglected. Their work is to just imp uh, impose taxes, NSSF, NHF, and the rest. So that is the beginning of Ruto's dark future in the Republic of Kenya. As I speak, the dollar is not, currency is now uh, not growing but becoming down. Why? The investors are also running, getting out from the country. Because how the government is enrolling their administration policy is another problem that they are experiencing. So this is the beginning of country, Republic of Kenya, sorry to be on a very tough situation. As I speak, Kenyans have also known that the prices of things or of or goods are high with the claims of saying that oh, weather and the rest, the global, it is all over. The fuel crisis is also another problem Kenyans are experiencing. But all this does not mean that the Ruto's administration cannot do they can rectify this if they stop just stamping themselves, if they allow themselves to sit together as one team and negotiate and understand the future of Kenya. And again, if they stop campaigning and again, if they stop getting hungry for power. So that these are the four major points. If they will do, then this dark future in the Republic of Kenya will not hunt the government. So we saw also the increase of presidential term limit. That one also is another uh, story to tell that Kenya is getting into a wrong, wrong side. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your observations on our today's analysis? I'm eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below as I'm now ending my political discussion at this afternoon because of time.
I want to appreciate you guys for your great effort when you continue supporting this channel through your subscriptions, like, comment and also share to your family, friends and relatives. Don't forget to watch and like the video. Bye bye till we hope to meet on another analysis as I want to wish you all the best. May you have a peaceful afternoon.